everyone welcome back to shades of radiology today i am going to discuss an important concept of diffusion susceptibility mismatch you might have heard about the diffusion perfusion mismatch so let us see what is this diffusion susceptibility mismatch a 45 year old male presented with right hemiplegia so here it's obvious that there is a diffusion restriction in left mcr artery in the left capsular ganglion region and frontal lobe and these are the magnitude and phase images of susceptibility weighted imaging so swi has evolved a lot in stroke imaging so what is happening here in this case you can see a prominent veins which is seen along with the area of restriction the prominent veins are seen even outside the area of restriction the same is depicted in the phase images so this region of brain which is not yet showing diffusion restriction but on swi you can see a lot lot of prominent veins with increased hypo intensity of the vessels on swi this is called as diffusion susceptibility mismatch so there is no diffusion restriction but still there is an increased voxel count of the number of vessels as well as the increased hypo intensity of the vessels which suggests diffusion susceptibility mismatch so what is the this entity and what are the advantages of it so diffusion susceptibility mismatch is nothing but a multiple hypo intense vessels in the ischemic area and it should not be the region should not show any restriction in the region of susceptibility susceptibility so we use an one important score called as asymmetry index score where we will count cerebral vein in a single voxel in the ischemic area by the cerebral veins in the normal brain parenchyma so this gives a score which helps in assessing the reperfusion benefit so this also indicates a favorable outcome from reperfusion so in our case there is a large area of diffusion susceptibility mismatch which indicates that the person has a favorable outcome if reperfusion is done so what is this mismatch why does this attack in the ischemia there will be an increased oxygen demand and with increased oxygen demand there will be increased amount of oxygen extraction and with this leads to increased deoxyhemoglobin content within the vessels and this leads to more darker and more high point intense vessels on the ischemic area on swi this gives a very helpful finding which is called as diffusion susceptibility mismatch this may not be seen in all the cases but in massive or large mc artery infarcts this plays a major role there have been lot of studies which the diffusion diffusion perfusion mismatch has been very much beneficial beneficial and this this phenomena of diffusion susceptibility mismatch has playing an important role with the advent of susceptibility weighted imaging you can see there are lot of studies which has been done with the help of diffusion and susceptibility weighted imaging in patients with ischemia whether is there any benefit or not you can go through these articles which are of much help in acute stroke imaging thank you very much